Good evening. Here are some of the headlines to anticipate against tomorrow, 29th of September, 2023. This is tomorrow's news today. We begin with national news. Ministry of Work staffs protest in Abuja after minister locks them out for lateness. No agreement with the federal government to suspend strike, says NLC. For Independence Day, federal government declares Monday, October 2nd as public holiday. Nigerian Meteorological Agency warns of 48-hour heavy rainfall across 24 states. We move to politics and other election matters. Article files fresh suit in the U.S. over Tinubu's academic records. On Imo gubernatorial elections, oppositions are against me because I have one arm, says Labour Party candidate. Obaseki accepts Shaibu's apology. 46% of Kano children have stunted growth, health officials lament. Covenant, UI and Futa emerge top universities in Nigeria. We move to business news. Erisco Foods to sue customer for 5 billion naira over defamation post. On naira devaluation, importers abandon used cars at seaport, says Customs. In technology news, Google wants subscription increased by over 50% in Nigeria. Adobe launches web version of its Firefly AI. In entertainment news, a reporter actor Michael Gambon, known for playing Dumbledore, dies at 82. In international news, U.S. imposes fresh sanctions on Sudan. Republicans hold first Biden impeachment hearing over corruption allegations. Pupil on 14 others stabs five students at Spanish school. And lastly, in sports, Barcelona charged with bribery for referee payments and face Champions League exclusion. In NBA, Box dubbed scariest team after Damian Lillard move. Get details of this news and more on our website at guardian.ng or pick up a copy of our newspapers from your closest newsstand. Do not forget to follow us on social media as Guardian Nigeria across our social media pages. I am Lois Oguni. Good night.